Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to combine arrays with the spread operator. Another huge advantage of the spread operator is the ability to combine arrays or to insert all the elements of one array into another at any index. With more traditional syntaxes, we can concatenate arrays, but this only allows us to combine arrays at the end of one and at the start of another. Spread syntax makes the following operation extremely simple. So we're, we've got this array again, and it's sage, rosemary, parsley, and thyme. And then if we say that array, we've got basil, cilantro, and then we're putting in sage, rose, a clone of sage, rosemary, parsley, and thyme. And then the coriander is the last uh, element of that array. So now that array is equal to basil, cilantro, sage, rosemary, parsley, thyme, and then uh, coriander, coriander. And so we're able to adjust this array using the spread operator. So what, this is, instead of using slice, right, this, this, is, e this is even easier. Uh, so using the spread syntax, we have achieved an operation that would have been more complex and more verbose had we used traditional methods. So we have defined a function, the spread out, here the function, spread out, that returns a variable sentence. It returns a variable sentence, and sentence is currently not set to anything. So we want to modify the function using the spread operator so it returns the array. Learning to code is fun. So to code. And so what we want to do is set this equal to, uh, we want to return the sentence, which is equal to a, <laughs> this is kind of silly, an array. <clears throat> so we want to say, um, here we're going to go learning. And then we want dot 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 fragment so that's going to make it give us two code and then after that we're going to put uh is and then fun learning to code is fun so here the spread operator should return learning to code is fun as a an array of individual strings and then spread out functions should utilize the spread syntax so one error if you were to just add to code in here, that would be incorrect. So we want to use the spread operator in this. And so then we return the sentence and that's where I, we get this, where you console log it out and we get this guy. And so that's how you pass the tests. Awesome, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.